Salutations, people of the internet. Matt here from Hydro Gaming, and welcome to episode one in our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. As you can see, we got our hands on the game a little bit early, which is very exciting, and I can't wait to jump in. This game was a really big part of my childhood, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Let's see if it holds up. Yep, we're going to start the game in English. Sounds good to me, because I don't know any other languages. Oh wow, the music immediately brings back a lot of memories. Pokemon Professor, Professor Rowan. That is a wicked mustache, my friend. And that is the hardest Pokemon to catch in the history of ever. I don't know if any of you have uh, had the joy of trying to find a Munchlax in the original DS Pokemon games. Not, not a fun task. So, first thing I think we're going to do is, uh, well, besides choose our character, is we're going to work on this tech speed as soon as we get a chance. Um, I don't know. I think I look the most like this one in the top left, honestly. We'll go with that. Oh, the game froze. That's fun. Okay, and we're back. Um... I'm not sure what's going on. I ordered my capture card from China, <laughs> so for some reason it's not picking up my keyboard, but rest assured it's on screen. So we're going to name my character Matt, because that's my name. So we'll go ahead and do that. Yes, my name is Matt. That's correct. My best friend in the whole world. We're gonna go with Barry, because that's the name I went with when I was a kid. So, for nostalgia's sake, that's what we're gonna call him today. Would I call him my friend? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. I can't tell you guys how excited I am. Here it comes. That takes me back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna guess we don't find the red Gyarados today. Oh, where's my hat? Oh, I guess I don't get a hat. I cannot wait to hear the music. Oh man, I feel like I'm 12 again. Now, the first step in every journey, besides checking the PC for a free potion, is changing that tech speed. I already know what window I'm going with. Oh yeah. Sorry if I'm uh, clicking the buttons a little hard. I have a bad habit of doing that. Alright, let's see if we can get a potion. Unless this is the game where they stopped. It is! Okay, no, no free potion. You know what? That's fine. We're not gonna need it. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people had a problem with the uh, the chibi art design. I'm kind of liking it. Oh, did we lose some subscribers? That's sad. That's what that noise is in the background. Just ignore that. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's get going here. Go say hi to my mom. Look at that camera angle. Barry's looking for me. Apparently it's an emergency. Look at this beautiful TV. Wow, that is a lot of uh, description for a TV that's not even turned on. And she doesn't even have a couch to sit on. Nice. Um, so I already know what my starter is going to be. Oh, don't go into the tall grass. Very, very important for any new budding Pokemon trainer, or Pokemon trainer yet to be. Stay out of the tall grass, unless you want to start the game. <laughs> so I already know what starter I'm going to go with. I won't tell you, but it's, it's the starter, not that I went with, but my brother originally was the one who had this game. 
I ended up getting a game called Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, and to my surprise, it's not a mainline Pokemon game. So, while my brother got to enjoy Pokemon Diamond, and transferring his Pokemon from the original Game Boy games, I didn't get to share in that excitement. Anyways, the starter he chose is the one I'm going to be going with in this game. Again, for nostalgia's sake, because the only way I could play Pokemon Diamond back in the day when we first got it was by playing my brother's copy. And it's not like he'd let me start my own save data, so... We're gonna go with the starter he had. Oh, I'm still in Kanto mode. Sorry. Hurry, I'm looking for... Wait, is it Kanto mode? Hoenn mode. I'm looking for Professor Birch in the grass. Thud. Called it. Ooh, look at that frame drop. My poor, poor switch. We're gonna go check out the lake. Lake Verity, I think it was, if I remember correctly. And he's gonna find me a million dollars if I'm late. Yeah, <laughs> good luck collecting, pal. I don't have that kind of cheese. Oh. He's rushing me and he forgot something. Sweet, sweet irony. Hi, Barry's mom. I am looking for Barry. I wonder who he takes after. If not you, would it not be safe to assume his dad? Hmm. You know what? And we're gonna stop digging right there because this video is PG-13. <laughs> hey there, oh, 10 million now. Dude, I didn't even have the first million. That's a little ambitious there. What do you got on your computer? X opens the menu. Maybe we better save anyways, eh? Oh yeah. So, any of you with uh, an eagle eye would notice that the date here is November 16th. Um, I got a extra extra early Amazon delivery, but because a lot of videos with early walkthroughs are getting taken down, and early walkthroughs and let's plays, I'm not going to be posting until the night the game releases. A lot of people have gotten their hard copies early, myself included, because we're super duper lucky, but Nintendo's still taking down the videos if you post them before the release date, so we're going to be waiting a little bit. I'm just super excited to be able to play this three days early. That was a really nice surprise to wake up to today. Alright, let's go find our friend here. Oh, that music. This is one of my favorites. This one and Route uh, 207, I think it is, the Valley Windworks. You've probably heard the song a lot in my other videos, because it's definitely a favorite of mine. The Furious Pokemon in the Lake. Oh. Yeah, we'll probably find a Gyarados in the Lake. I don't see why not. Oh, that's weird. That is some very fast clipping. Let's run into the tall grass and see what happens. Don't go into the tall grass or wild Pokemon might attack you. Yeah, that's the... That's the idea. <laughs> I love how it includes that ending, too. It would be okay, but uh, you don't, so... I'm glad they included that. Just to cap off the thought. Alright, let's go check out the... The lakefront. Oh, it is Verity. The Lake of Emotions. Yes, let's. Oh man, this music. I love it. This one sounds so classy. Nothing out of the ordinary here. No red Gyarados. Professor Rowan was away for four years. Interesting. Still a wicked mustache. Let us pass, please. Will Don stop and take a look at us, like in the game? Yep. Yeah, 
Yeah, they were weirdos. Let's go and totally not get attacked by birds. Alright, here we go. Uh oh. Who saw that coming? Okay, like I said, I already know the starter I'm going with. It was the one my brother originally went with when we were a couple of young lads starting out our Pokemon journey. So first we have Turtwig, the Tiny Leaf Pokemon, Piplup, the Penguin Pokemon, and the starter we're going with, Chimchar. Now another great reason to pick Chimchar, maybe, I'm not sure if this game is using the Platinum Dex or the Diamond Pearl Dex, but in the original Diamond Pearl, there weren't a lot of fire Pokemon around. I think your choices were Chimchar and that evolution line or the Ponyta evolution line. So, yeah, not that uh, not that great of a selection. Anyways, let's jump into our first ever Pokemon battle in Brilliant Diamond. Let's see how it looks. Well, that was kind of cute. Man, it's so odd without my hat. I wish I had my hat. But so far, everything looks fantastic. Are those the animations from Pokemon Go? Oh, we got move info. That's pretty cool. Again, I'm sorry if I'm clicking my Joy-Cons really loud. I have a bad habit of doing that. <laughs> Hopefully the mic isn't picking it up. attention yeah I don't think we took any damage we might have I don't know <laughs> oh Barry why oh duh, don't uh, don't worry about the missing pokeballs that's uh that's nothing <laughs> is so not good. I know, I agree. Wouldn't it have made sense just to take the Pokemon back and then leave? Oh well. Alright, let's go get a, uh, get a scolding. So... This was around the time I found the rivals in these games got a little bit too friendly. Like, uh, I guess you could say uh, in Gen 3 it happened too. I like back in the day where you had the classic rival that you loved to hate and they kind of grew throughout the journey. I guess Barry does get a bit of character development as time goes on, especially in Platinum with the whole battle area endgame content. but Or fight area, whatever it's called. But I don't know, I always just preferred the character that... Uh, for lack of better terms, was kind of a jerk. I don't know, it, it uh, gave you something to work towards because you just like stomping them into the dust in every milestone battle you'd have, and now it's like, eh, feels a little too friendly. But all that said, I do kind of like Barry. <laughs> that old guy's staring at us. Yeah, let's go back to the lake. Alright, let's go home and tell our mom about what we did today. Mom! We stole someone's Pokemon! <laughs> and then we killed two birds on the lakefront. <laughs> yeah, we weren't harmed, it's okay. Our hopeless animals took all the beatings for us. He was pretty intimidating. I could never grow a mustache that cool. Or, you know, a mustache in general. I'm sure he'll understand why you stole his Pokemon. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. 
Oh, they just auto run now. Okay, so if you move the stick halfway, you can walk, and all the way you can run. That's neat. Because I was worried I was going to have to hold the B button this entire way. <laughs> yeah, technology blows me away too, pal. You can order something that's not supposed to come in until the 18th, and it'll come in on the 16th. That's the power of Amazon Prime. Let's roll. I love that cry. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go lately, and I'm uh, I'm getting pretty tired of running into these Bidoofs. So. <laughs> Look at how cute he is doing his little dance. I always thought the top of his head looked like soft ice cream. Try to unsee the soft ice cream on his head now. <laughs> Alright, I, uh, I might speed this battle up in post for you guys. Maybe, uh, maybe that's something I'll start doing. Hey there, friend. Wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass and can come out at any time. Yeah, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm bad at reading. Don't mind me. Anything up here? Interesting. Kind of want to get the dousing machine so I can check these areas. I don't think there's anything over here. No, nothing special. That was probably something I could click on that was invisible, but we'll come back with the dousing machine. Pokemon's HP are getting low. I should get some rest. Good to know. Do you have a free potion? Thank you, young lady. Can you hear me clicking? Poor, poor switch. Another Bidoof, my favorite. Do I have Pokeballs yet? Oh, you know what? I guess I don't need an HM slave in this game. I think they got rid of that, uh... Yeah. Because this game, if... Any of you didn't play the originals, this game was infamous for its uh, sheer quantity of uh, HMs that needed to be used to progress through the game. And these little guys here were, uh, well, they were the OG HM slaves. <laughs> Alright, we need to level up. We need to toughen up a bit. Our attack isn't... Uh, isn't as good as I'd like it to be. Oh, nice! And now we have a stab move. Another lesson for those of you who don't know, stab stands for same type attack bonus, and I think you get a 50% bonus to damage if you use an attack that's the same type as the Pokemon. Mild nature. Alright. So, Mild Nature raises the Pokemon's special attack and lowers their defense. That's not super great for a Chimchar, because I believe once it evolves into Infernape, that's generally a physical attack-based Pokemon rather than a special attack, so not great, but I don't feel like restarting. <laughs> And let's save again. All right, off we go. Oh, and look how far we got. <laughs> oh man. I guess this is something I'm gonna have to think about. I don't really have a team in mind. I got a few Pokemon that I uh, would like to add to my team, but for now, all I really knew what I want to do is uh, pick my starter. I knew I knew I wanted Chimchar as my starter, but beyond that. I didn't really have big plans for uh, for our team, so that's something I'll have to work on between videos for sure. Hey there. Hey Don. Thanks for telling on me for stealing. I don't think we can be friends now. Even though we look exactly the same. 
Hi, Barry. Always one step ahead, eh? That old guy, he's not so scary. See ya, Barry. That was really weird, walking on a grid like that. Wow, look at those reflections. <laughs> those are pretty accurate reflections. Game theory. Does Pokemon Brilliant Diamond have ray tracing? <laughs> yes, it does. Does he seem happy? He's uh, he's not doing too well. So I was thinking I'd maybe take the Chugga Conroy approach and letting the viewers name the Pokemon we get on our team, but because this is the first episode and, uh, you know, it hasn't been uploaded and no one can vote on a name, I am going to name the starter and I'm going to go with the name that my brother went with when we were young. Again, I apologize for the keyboard not showing up on screen. I got a very, very cheap capture card, and I guess I should mention if you see any irregularities like screen tearing or problems with the uh, the video, it's probably the cheap capture card I got for $19. So when we were young, my brother named his Chimchar. Oh, it doesn't show. Okay. He named his Chimchar Kong. And most people, they're... Mines would go straight to King Kong, but he actually named him after Donkey Kong. Because we went through a phase where we loved playing Mario Kart on the Nintendo 64, and he was my brother's favorite character, hence the, the name Kong. You're welcome for that history lesson. So, for those of you who haven't played Pokemon before, Professor Rowan is going to give us what's called a Pokédex. So... Basically, it's an index of Pokemon. Really, really clever naming, Nintendo. Um, and you collect information on all different types of species of Pokemon. Uh, you can collect scans for their image and I think size by encountering them, but if you catch them, you get a lot more detailed data like their height, weight, uh, some background story, maybe some lore to go with the, the Pokemon. And I think you get their cry as well. So lots of lots of neat stuff. So she's got a tur twig, and Barry went with the Pipla. Well, it's nice to meet you too. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> My grand adventure awaits me. You have any you have any free items in here? Does your PC have a potion? Academic writing that's impossible to figure out. <laughs> Welcome to university, my friend. You'll act as my mentor. Oh, perfect. I needed one of those. Can I have some Pokeballs? I love this song. It's, uh, it's really hard for me not to sing along right now. <laughs> but that would be annoying for you guys. I sing like a screech owl, so no one wants to hear that. But man, I love this music. Oh yeah, so as you collect gym badges, you can come back and buy new types of merchandise. I think at the beginning of the game, all you have available to purchase is potions and Pokeballs. But every time you get a badge, there's new stuff for you to buy at the Mart. So following every gym badge, we'll treat it as a milestone. We'll come back and check out what the Marts have to sell. And I didn't come up with that. I actually stole that from Chugga Conroy, a much better channel that I love watching. I'll leave a link somewhere and you should go check out his Pokemon Let's Plays. They're fantastic. Anyways, moving on. Oh. I suppose we should go tell my mother. Alright, so... Sand Gem Town. Town of Sand. Well, that's... <laughs> very, very clever naming. Oh, hello. First item ball. An antidote. Is anyone noticing that weird frame rate on the shoreline? I wonder... Kind of reminiscent of the anime, if you ask me. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's just the capture card, but everything else, the frame rate seems to be okay, so... Maybe it is just the water. That's kind of weird. Kind of neat. 
Dawn's house. Wait, Dawn has her own house? Oh, yeah, they don't live in the um, same town as me. Oh, was I supposed to heal my Pokemon? My bad. Whoopsie. All right, let's go say farewell to my mom. That's not my mom. <laughs> Where do I live? Is this my house? I should know that. <laughs> Don't judge me too hard, people. Oh, thanks. I don't have to go to the Pokemon Center now. Yep. Yep, I'm pretty important. Oh, a guidebook. Is that new? I think that's new. Wait, you could go instead. I could play as you. Experience new sensations. They make your mother happy too. And again, we'll stop it right there because this video is PG-13. Hello, hello. Oh, little payback. Sorry I barged into your house earlier. <laughs> Something for Barry? I think I know what's inside it, but... It's a pretty big spoiler. I don't want to spoil the, uh, the parcel for you. But we're going to end the video off there. In the next episode, we'll be going back to Sand Gem Town to heal our Pokemon, check out the Pokemart. Don't shake your head, no. And we'll go talk to Dawn, and maybe she'll teach us how to catch Pokemon. Who knows? Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode.